What's up, y'all? It's your girl Chrissy Bands, Big Brooklyn with it, but we in the Bronx. We outside with my boy Vague. Shout out to Grind Season Radio. Yeah, we doing it big. Let's go. It's the Grind Season Show, you stupid motherfuckers. Fuckers. 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 You're live with the city's hottest DJ, GS Vague. Yeah, 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 you already know what it is. Grind Season Radio every Thursday, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, exclusively on the BX Boys mobile app. I'm back. Brooklyn's on in the building. Motherfucking finally got up here. She owned me a Purple Room Freestyle, too. She owned me a Purple Room Freestyle for like about like nine, maybe like nine months. So she owed like nine months worth of Purple Room Freestyle. Motherfucking Chrissy Bands in the building. Yo, what's up, though? What's the word, man? What's up? Listen, we outside. I do you owe are, you, you, but... You outside. I, I'm I, not outside. <laughs> outside. I'm watching. I'm watching. Yeah, I'm definitely Whoa. outside, man. I gotta be. Yo, Brooklyn is looking real good right now, like... Listen... I know the rap shit started in BX, but you know Brooklyn always taking it. Sorry nah, to say, see, so see, we was we was. I'm just saying because we oh we we been taking it. You feel me? But you know, it's always like a season for. I feel like it's always a season for for the boroughs, and right I mean, now Brooklyn Bronx comes back. Got it. I mean, yeah, yeah, we do. forever got um, French a boogie, but you got you got a record with a boogie. Yeah, I do. All right, we'll, we'll get into that, right? Mm -hmm. So we got A Boogie, we got Fat Joe, we got Rim, we got, and we could count everybody from Harlem too, cause they like they like our cousins, so we could count them. Nah. Now, Brooklyn, <laughs> Brooklyn, like 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 right now, like right now, Bro New York is looking good, but you know you from Brooklyn, so I'm gonna give Brooklyn they flowers. Y'all y'all looking real good over there, like yes. especially a lot of artists that's like coming up right now. Yeah, I agree. How you feel about the female artists like right now, like the, the temperature with the female artists? I want to ask that off the bat. I feel like um, a lot of these females yes. are in competition, mm. but they all sound the same kind of thing. Like, so I just I just want to be the person to like change that because, you know, I feel like I got bars. Like, I feel like real rap is not around no more when it comes to the females, you know? It's all about the gimmick and the catchy shit, which is cool, but like, you know? I think it's coming back. I think it came back now, like, to to know how to rap now is cool again. Yeah. Cause I, I, I be having categories, cause you know, I always dived in with female artists, like as far as with Queen of the Ring. And then from there, when I was on Apple Music, I had my show on Apple Music was only, f how I got the deal was I tried to do something different. I told them like, all right, well, I only f interview female artists. And it was like, bet, let's do it. Because they didn't want to give me a radio show, like, and you're going to sound like DJ Self or Ebro or somebody on Apple Music. Mm -hmm. So I said, how about I just do only female artists? Okay. So I was already, like, peeping everybody out. And I put everybody, like, in categories and shit. So I had you, like, in, like, the rapper category. Like, all right, these are all female artists. She's one that can actually rap. And then this one can make good songs. Not saying you don't make good records, but I was separating everybody. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. like, I know what you mean. So, do you, do you find it like catty? Is it like a catty game with, 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 the, with the females? Like as far as trying to work with them or, you know, trying to be a, what's this new shit? A girl's girl? I think it's both. Because I've experienced both. So, I feel like some, some females I run into are catty and I could, because I read energy. So, I could peep certain shit and be like, okay, I see how you move. And then there's other females that just embrace me off the rip. So, I think it's both. You know, but I do think that I think it's always been like that with females. There's only one to be on top. Like it's never like a bunch of us that could be on top. But like you said, it's changing now. But I hope it like stamps. You know what I'm saying? I mean, now is now you now you gotta show your talent. It's not no more like you know the little gimmicky shit. Cause now you got girls that can actually rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and I love to see it. And, and and there's other rappers that's co-signing you that, that mentioned to me. Who to, who mentioned you? Girl Code. Oh, okay. Because we was talking about the Purple Room Freestyle. You know, those are my peoples. Like, I helped them come up. Mm -hmm. So, we saw my rapper. They're like, yo, why you don't get Chrissy Benz on the Purple Room Freestyle? I'm like, she actually owed me a Purple Room Freestyle. <laughs> I was like, I already tapped in with that. How you, what other females you feel like, 
have actual bars like actually rap um definitely girl code connie diamond billy b um i'm i'm missing i'm missing a few but that's that's what i could think of right now and of course me you know what about kaya oh shit how could i forgive my baby kaya <laughs> hell yeah kaya baby what do you think is holding female artists back? Like, as far as like, not letting them see how like, Cash Cobain came out of nowhere. I'm not saying he came out of nowhere, but he grinded for like a year or two, mm. and then she took off. And then, you know what I mean? There's artists like that. What do you think is holding back a female artist? Um, I don't think, I would say like, females is a little harder because it's a male dominant game, but, if you don't got the bag or if you don't know the right people, I think that's what holds it back. Most people, like in my experience, I come across, they want to work with me until they see, oh, I'm not with the, you know, how that shit goes. Sometimes they want this from you and you be like, nah, they didn't even work with you. I think that affects the female. You want some pussy? Yeah. I ain't want to. <laughs> I'm going to ask you that next. Like, yeah, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's just how, I, that's, I feel like that's the only thing that will hold a female back as opposed to a male. You know what I'm saying? So you think... Pretty much like they overlooking the talent and want some pussy. Yeah, um, sometimes yeah, most of the time. Like I, I've I've experienced it and like I know females and I've seen it too. Like on TV, you know, love and hip hop and shit like that. Like but that's they, scripted. I mean, yeah, but not necessarily love and hip hop. But how that like that's just an example. Like I feel like that happens in real life, you know. So I heard you was with Dusty Lokan. Well, I... I'm just joking. I <laughs> no, I was not with him. No, I was just joking. I made that, I made <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? I, I actually used him for the video on purpose because I knew it was going to start controversy. Be like, oh, she with him and she doing this, da, da, da. But I did that on purpose. So. No, I, I knew he was in the video. I was a joke. I just, I just be spreading rumors sometimes. Yeah. That was a rumor that I made up. Yeah. That shit come back. I'm lost. I started it. Um, Yo, you stupid. How hard is it to get these artists in your video, like? Um, you just reaching out or is it a connect or is it a Yeah, it's definitely reaching out and, um, you know, God, thank God, you know, they fuck with me and my energy and, you know, people want to work with me. So that's how it'll be happening most of the time. Sometimes you got to pay. Sometimes it's just off the rip. Like, so I'm, I'm blessed for that. How the hell you got a boogie on the joint? So somebody in my camp, my DJ actually, shout out to DJ Twizzle, he knew somebody in his camp. And we got in cahoots or whatever, and we, that's basically how it happened. We put it together. I had an investor, you know, pay for the situation, and yeah. All right, so why, see, now in this new era, right, you know, everybody want to be a celebrity. Everybody's a star. Nobody even want to pay. Is there something wrong with paying? Because I don't see nothing wrong with paying. Hell no. First of why all. Why are they frowning upon paying? First of all. I just made a video about this like yesterday in my story. I feel like if, I'm back to what I said in the video, if I get on your song, I'm adding value to your song. If I want somebody on my song, I'm willing to pay them because I feel like they're going to add value to my song. It's like, especially if, you, if, if you've done certain things and been on certain platforms, yeah, you got to charge that person. I mean, you got to pay that person. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell, why not? Nah, because people frown upon paying. Because, you know, I got platforms that some people I charge and some people I don't. Because it's a win-win. Like, for certain people, all right, it's like, you know what? They got some motion, I got some motion. It'll work both ways. But this person over here, I got to charge you because me putting you on my platform for free because I got to pay editors and all that. But at the end of the day, that don't help me. Exactly. They That's how I move. It. That's but how I move. this person over here... I will pay my editors for them because it'll, it'll bring some type of light to the platform. Mm -hmm. And some people don't like to pay or they pick and choose who they want to pay. Yeah. So what I told them, like, when you don't want to pay, just don't pick me. <laughs> don't take me out that, that, take me out that list of niggas you don't want to pay. Word. Because I'm cool and I just cater to the motherfuckers over there that do want to pay. Yeah. And of course, you know, I'll use my relationships to, to, to get people on the platform or whatever. Mm -hmm. But so there's nothing wrong with paying. Are we clear on that? Nah, hell no, there's nothing wrong with it. Pay all the time. Pay, Thank pay. You. Thank you. Even me, if I gotta pay for something, I'm gonna pay. I'd rather pay and get the shit done than 
wait for the freebie. Right, because think about it. All of us, we're in, the, we're in this industry because we're trying to get big, right? So when we get big, we're going to be getting paid for it. So it starts somewhere. The more we elevate, the more progress we make, we, we should be getting paid. You know what people also say? That there's like um, a secret little like mini Illuminati of, of like of us, like artists, like people that, you know, that, that, that only being cool to each other. And it's like, you know, you got to earn your way in that circle. Like, yeah. like, let's say like an interview, certain platforms, you, you might not do the interview. You might be like, who? Nah, I'm not doing that. I turn down interviews all the time. And they be like, oh, we, um, oh, he does all my interviews, right? He'll be like, yo, this platform, I look, I'll be like, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but if I know them, I'll be like, all right, fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Let's play some music. I'm gonna play Jason. I like Jason. Oh yeah! Shout out to Miss Hustle. First of all, when you were saying the whole female rap shit, her, her name was the first name I was supposed to say. Like she's one of those people I met, and off the rip, she gravitated to my energy, and she was like, "Yo, well, I don't remember who suggested it, but we got on the song, like you know." And she did that. She did a favor for me, basically. And and shout out to her. I was gonna ask you, like, how hard is it getting Hustle on the track? It, yo, I met her on set. He was doing a movie. She literally came. She was like fixing her hair. I was like, "It's from Miss Hustle." She was she turned around. She was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Yo, I fuck with you, that whatever." You know, we talked throughout the set. Got to know each other a little bit, and then we got each other number, and then it just went from there. We she got on my song, and I was like, I used to watch her battle. I still watch her, but you know, when I was younger, first getting on, like. Now I got a song with her, like that's crazy. She can rap, rap. Like, what? Bars, rap. Queen of the Ring, right there. Yeah, she she was the she first body one. and the guys too. She was the first one on on Queen of the Ring that we put to battle with guy first ever, and this was probably like, I like twelve years ago, ten, probably like ten years ago and shit. Mm. So we kind of like we grew up with Hustle like that, but I know Hustle was a hard one to get in contact. But I got her on Purple Moon Freestyle. It wasn't really hard. Oh, that's lit. I know to work with people. I, I know her personally, so I know it's hard to work with her. Like to get her to actually sit down and focus. Yes. But shots to Miss Hustle. Yes. We're gonna get into this joint right now called Jason Chrissy Bands featuring Miss Hustle. That's gonna be on the playlist too, y'all. So you already know. Yeah, 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 baby. We back. Grind Season Radio every Thursday, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., where you only gonna catch the hottest artists in the city, maybe the tri-state here. And you know, today, Brooklyn's own is in the building with us. Yeah, yeah. Chrissy yo. motherfucking bands. Hey. You know we always outside, we still outside. All right, so now I'm gonna give you five more seconds to, to name a couple more female artists that you missed out on the list. <laughs> um, definitely Lola Brooke. Uh, yeah. Fuck with Lola Brooke. Um, damn, why you gotta put me on a spot like that? Um, who else? I'm missing, I know I'm missing motherfuckers. Um, Ruthie LeBron, Ooh, she got bars. I had her on a purple room cycle one time. Yeah, she's she, she's outside. Um, listen, it's a lot of Yo, them, okay? There's another girl from Brooklyn, too. Um, who that? Damn, I forgot her name. Fuck. She did a purple room freeze. Uh, Brooke, baby. Book baby. Oh, matter of fact, I just um I did a cipher with her just now, like the baby. fresher cipher. Yeah, she's she got nice. Like a, she got like an orthodox flow, right? Mm -hmm. She's definitely nice. I fuck she, with her. Yeah, yeah. So shots to Brooke baby. Yeah. One time she did a purple room freestyle, right? She came to do this shit, and she did one. I was like, she was like, can I do another one? I was like, you want to do another one? She's like, yeah, throw another beat on. She knocked them shits out in one shot. Boom, back to back, like. Nah, she she definitely went in on the cipher, so I believe you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brooke, baby. Shots to Brooke, baby. I yeah. gotta get her up here, too. Uh-huh. Right now, who's your go-to producer? Um, you don't gotta be like a lit, like to go to, like, yo, I need a record. Right now, TV Beats. TV Beats? Yeah. yeah. Um, I am literally have him on the gram for a while, and he sent me some beats. And my besides Jason, my last two singles... It's produced by him, and I'm about to do a whole EP where he's gonna produce all the songs. That's fire. Yeah. You know who does that? Dave East does that. Yeah. Like if Dave East likes a producer, he's gonna do a whole project with you. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the name? TVB. TVB. Shout out to my boy. He definitely, he's fire. He's he be outside. You know what? People gotta start getting back to. I don't know if you're gonna agree or not, 
but they gotta still get back to like the artist being in the studio with the producer. Because sending beats is like, all right, I'm gonna send you a beat. But sitting with the actual producer. Yeah. You ever sat with a producer like it made a beat from scratch, like for you? Yeah, I did. What was that like, uh, tra like that? Uh, tra it was, like? um, well, so it's basically with my engineer. I've been with him for the past like six, seven years. So um, his name is Yanostra. Shout out to him. He produced all my music. I mean, he engineers and he produced some of them. Like he did the track with Freeway. He made the beat. From That's scratch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fine. He made that beat. Um, yeah, so it's it's basically I, I understand, I see the difference. Like you you there you're there for your input. Oh, I don't like this, I like this. You know what I'm saying? So but he was remaking a beat that like um like I do a lot of remixes, so he, I forgot what beat it was. He was remaking it for me, so you know, it was like it was more easy, you know, doing it that way, but yeah. I, I agree. I think the, it's better when the producers with the artists and in the studio. Sending shipping out beats because now everybody's getting lazy now, and then you don't build that. You don't build that that chemistry with the producer. Yeah. So you could be in the studio like now, like your engineer. If he was your producer, it'd be perfect because he knows your sound. Yeah. Let me ask you this: um, What artists you ever ran into that you was like a fan of them, and you were surprised that they knew you? They was like, "Oh, I know you!" Like when you introduced yourself. Um, off the top, Steph G. Steph G? Yeah. I met her at um, Daniel's Leather Fashion Show. Okay. And I went up to her, like, to say hi, and I like her music. She was like, I like your music, too. I was like, oh, word, that's what's up. And ever since then, we always show each other love on the gram and shit like that. Shout yeah. out to Steph G. Yeah, shout out to her. Um, how many records can you record in one night? Um, I feel like... It's a, um, I have recorded like three songs in one night, but I've never sat there and be like, okay, yeah, I'm going to get done. Get, Cause I do a lot of stuff. So I'm not going to be able to sit there for like four or five hours and bang out. I mean, I can, if I plan it out, but I've never done it. So, what but yeah, a lot of stuff like what? Like? I mean, like I'm a mom, oh, okay. I work, um, I do a lot of house stuff. I'm, I'm all over. Stop. You work, right? Yeah. Artists, get <laughs> jobs. Stop acting like y'all all scammers, like y'all all, like all you said. I'm a mom, I work, I gotta go to work. Is there anything wrong with I made a blog about that. Is there anything wrong with having like why? Hell no, that's having extra money. money. What's wrong with that? That's extra money. You feel me? You do what you gotta do until you get where you need to be. No, people act like having a job is Just like embarrassing or calling. What's embarrassing? See, you see what it said? Having a job, they think it's probably embarrassing, right? What's embarrassing about making money? Listen, I, I remember when I was working at a certain job, every time, almost every time somebody came in, they like, aren't you Chrissy Benz? Yo, you the girl that rap, right? Like, it was so, like, I was, I never felt like, so I don't know why people feel like, you know, if it's embarrassing or like corny, like you said. I loved it. Every time, like, but I'm not a rapper, it's different, but every time, because Queen of the Ring, that shit is worldwide. So I could be any state, anywhere. They'd be like, you, or if I'm working at my job, they'd be like, you got a job? I'd be like, nigga, you got a job? Right. <laughs> like, I'm not a rapper. I don't, got, I don't got a front. Like, yes, I work. How do you balance, like, being a mom and an artist? Um, I just got a great support system. You know, so anytime that I have to go do anything that has to do with music, I always have a family member or a close friend that's always there, you know what I'm saying? To mind her. So, yeah, just. Is it hard? It's hard, but I found balance in it, you know, and I'm still finding the balance, but it's like I got my mind set on I'm gonna be the best mom I could be, and I'm gonna still, you know, focus on my goals at the same time and not let nothing get in the way of either one of them. How do you feel about social media and mental health? I think that um, mental health is real big now and a lot of people look at social media and not me, but it affects certain people and it makes them you know, either depressed or feel like they have to do this or they have some type of pressure. I don't know why. I mean, not that I don't know why, like, you know, that, like, I don't sympathize with it, but I just wish it wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? But I think it is a problem. You think people are, like, playing, like, catch up, like, trying to play catch up? Yeah, some people. Yeah, I think they see certain things and they be like, 
oh yeah, I used to do that, or, or damn, I should've, you know what, I'm, a, and now it's like, everybody's doing everything, everybody's doing the same thing now, like. Everybody's dressing the same. All right, see, this is the thing, this is the problem I have with New York City, right? Everywhere you go out of town, like, you go to Atlanta, you have all the Atlanta artists working together, getting each other lit. Like, oh, you lit? All right, let's get this new dude, little little Pope, right here. Nobody knows him, but he got a nice little record. Let's get him, and let's do this. But in New York, everybody wants to be the that plug. one. Mm -hmm. Like, they want to be, like, the go-to artists, and, and they just want to be the one. Yeah. They don't want to share or help, or, or it's like... How do you feel about that? Like, artists, like, and it's not crabs in a barrel because we can help each other. Like, I don't know if you follow this, um, M. Dot, you know M. Dot? M. Dot. Maybe mm -hmm. with uh, Diani Dior, maybe with Cardi. I've probably seen him and don't even he know that was his name. Type shit for them. Mm. But he made, he made a good point. He was like, yo, New York artists are the hottest artists in, in, in the country, New York. If New York artists would like gather together and go on like a tour together, they could make some money. Yeah. But, Everybody's gonna be worried about who's gonna headline, who's opening up, who's this, instead of being like, yo, let's get together, we can chip in, because a, a tour bus ain't that much money. Yeah. A tour bus to rent is probably like 10, 15,000. Now, you think about it like this, like, get a couple artists, come up with like two racks each, and y'all could bring like two people each, y'all could get on a bus and, and hit the road. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you should you should put that together. Shit. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. But that's a dope idea. Like I, I should do a blog on it. Cause pretty much like your manager, let's say I'm an artist, my manager, his manager, all get together, sit down at the table. Now y'all work together, y'all hit all the promoters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That way the artists ain't stressing doing it, but the manager or us are all in contact and making it happen, and, and y'all could go on a dope-ass tour, a New York tour. Mm -hmm. People would love that shit. You know how I many new fans you have, bring merch with you, and, but, you know, New York is a bunch of hard-headed motherfuckers. I don't know why it's like that. Like you said, it's, it's a bunch of talent. It's enough for everybody. I don't know. Well, obviously, it's not. <laughs> you ever got invited to a studio, right, by a male artist, and you thinking like, yo, Oh, I'm about to work, about to do this joint, and when you get there, they flirty and they trying to they trying to go left instead of play the beat. Um, you yeah. Don't say their name. I have. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying no name. Nah, but that, how, how uncomfortable is that? Like, do you stay there? Do you make an um, excuse to leave? I don't know. I don't, everybody be like, oh, I'm different, I'm different. But I really be feeling like I'm different. I don't know. I just give off this energy. Like, once I nip certain shit in the bud, it just be like, all right, that's, all right, yeah, I respect it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I never been uncomfortable to where I, oh, nah, I got to dip out of here. Like, and God willing, I don't ever have to be in that situation. So Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I hope not. I don't like shit like that. Yeah. I, I'm out. Like in my head, I'm gonna, I'm imagining like how weird that shit must be. Like you think you're about to work, and you know you probably have a mutual respect for this person, and then they like trying to put their hand on your thigh and do all that, and then it's like whoa, like like. But th I would think that that shit would make like the whole session stiff at that point. Like, yeah. Oh shit. I don't. Yeah, it never got like physical. Thank God, as far as like hand on the thigh. Oh no, I'd be like, yo, bro, would you? You know what I'm saying, but yeah, thank God no. I just I just saw that I forgot why I just made that up because I just saw that shit like on a TV show or something. What TV show was I watching? I don't even know. I saw that shit on a TV show. A guy was trying to do that to a girl. She like, oh shit, like yeah, like she went for business and then he was trying to do some old other shit or whatever. I know a few friends like you know that have been through that, you know. So you know females that fuck for features. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Listen, I wouldn't do it, but I, I, I don't condone it, but I don't judge either. But I feel like it's kind of like cheating a little bit, but hey. So let me so ask what you what you got to do, right? Do they fuck before they get the song or after? I mean, I know one that did before and one that did after. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean. Well, listen, man, I don't knock nobody. Listen. How, do you, how do you feel about like today with the, you know, we're, you know, we're in modern day prostitution. 
Yeah. Like with the whole, you know, um I don't Only fans? Not only fans, no. I don't want to I don't want to die unless he got money. Okay. Yeah. So how how like what do how you feel about if a guy said, "Well, I don't want to fuck with a girl unless she got money." I mean, I would I would respect it because females this bitches that be saying that. So I I mean, I would respect it. Like me personally, I don't care if a nigga got bread. If I like you, I like you. You gotta have money, but you don't gotta be the richest nigga. But there are females who be like, yo, I ain't fucking with no nigga unless he rich, rich. So if a nigga say that to you, you can't be mad. Mm. That's how I feel. How hard is it getting ready for a show as a female artist? To me, I mean, I feel like. It's hard to get ready if I don't know what I'm wearing. I got to go buy something or if I'm, if I'm going to put something together. But uh, majority of the time, I don't wear makeup unless I'm really, like, trying to pop out. So I don't got to worry about, like, doing mad shit. I just pop my lashes on, my little lip gloss, you know what I'm saying? And I'm out. So it's not that hard. It's just like, oh, what I'm going to do with my hair, what I'm going to wear. You ever had, like, a big show, like, lined up? Let's say, like, a, um, like a SOBs or something, like a big, a big look, and then... Last minute, your hairstylist cancels or your makeup artist cancels. Um, I never really, cause ooh, sorry. Like I said, I don't really be having like if I'm gonna go get my makeup done, I'll get it done, and I'm I'm doing like a show, um, you know, or something. But most of the time, I don't. So, but there was a time where like I didn't like my hair. Two times I didn't like my hair. One time I was opening up for Freeway. I think it was Ohio, and then it was another time. Um, I was, what I was doing? I forgot. But I didn't like how my hair turned out because the weather, like, my shit be curly. So, like, if it's straight, it'll curl up. It won't, so, yeah. It'll. What's your nationality? I'm Trini. Yeah? 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, my, my dad is Haitian. So, oh. and it's crazy because I, I found that out, like, a few years ago. The whole time I thought I was, you know, Trini and Panamanian. But he's actually. Nah, you Haitian. Yeah, he's, he's, his mom is, like, he's straight from Haiti. Like, that's fire though, cause I love Haitian food. I love the Haitian culture. I just never knew that, so you know, you it was in me. Like, your 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 Trini side and all that into your music. Yeah, definitely. I love reggae. I love soca. You know, um, I love the whole Caribbean culture. Is Foxy Brown your favorite female rapper? She's not my favorite female rapper, but I really love her. She's in my top five. Who you gotta pick Foxy or Kim. Kim. I'm just more of a fan. I just know more of her music. And but I know Mad and Foxy music, but you know how you be like, oh, this is Kim, like some underground shit. I know more of Kim's music. And Foxy stopped before Kim. Yeah, that too. Yo, you already know what it is, baby. Grind season radio. Chrissy Bands is here. We're going to come back. And I got this game we're going to play. It's called Facts or Cap. Oh, shit. <laughs> Grind season radio. The number one independent radio show, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. every Thursday exclusively on a BX Boys radio app. Shout out to my man, O. This is a mixture of a Muslim and a Jew. Right, O? <laughs> you Jewish and I'm Muslim. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come I on, O. I thought he was talking about him. I'm him. Muslim and O is Jewish. Um, Chrissy Bands is still here. Brooklyn is still in the fucking Yes, we still outside. Playing. What part of Brooklyn are you from? I'm from East Flatbush, the 90s. I was going to say Flatbush, but I didn't want to sound prejudiced because, you know, all West Indians from Flatbush. <laughs> Flatbush. I got my man Mo Dub. That's my twin right there. Yo, that's crazy that you said that. I fuck with Mo Dub. Yeah. That's, that's my boy, yeah. Mo, he's from Flatbush. Oh, that's why you said that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, right. See, you got secrets up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mo Dub, he was up here. He was up here. Oh, word? Probably like, how long? Probably like a month ago, Mo was up here. Yeah, well, that was up there. That's, my, that's my guy right there. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. Um, I already said it because of Flatbush. He's from Flatbush, right? Yeah, yeah he's from Flatbush. Yeah, he's from Flatbush. Yeah, so we're going to get into this facts or cap. Pretty much it's self explanatory. I push out the sentence, you just say facts or cap. There's no, I don't know, it's just either facts or cap. The first one is the earth is flat. Um, facts. Facts? Okay. Diddy is bisexual. Facts. 
The Bronx is the dirtiest borough. Facts. Damn, sorry. <laughs> um, Jada Kiss is a better rapper than Styles P. Damn. Why y'all go do that to me? I'm going to just say facts because I know more of his music. The club scene is overrated. Facts. Wow. Havoc is a better producer. No, I'm sorry. Timberland is a better producer than Swiss Beats. Facts. Home cooked food tastes better than restaurant food. Facts. Brooklyn has the hottest artists coming out of NYC right now. Facts. Oh, shit. A muscle car is better than a luxury car. Cat. Bronny is going to be a better rapper than LeBron James. I mean, a better basketball player than um, LeBron. Facts. Facts or cap? <laughs> Chrissy Benz. <laughs> Chrissy, thank you for popping out today. I appreciate you. Yes, I appreciate you um, too. Shout out your, uh, 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 your event coming up. Yes, okay. December 6th, we in Brooklyn Gems with it. Make sure y'all pop out. Miss Hustle, we celebrating Jason, and we got some artists coming out, performing, competing for $500. Feel me? Make sure y'all pop out. We outside, like always. Who's your favorite artist right now, like, for um, inspiration? This is the last question. Like, when you need inspiration or if you have writer's block or something, who do you throw on to, like, you know what I mean, get some ideas? I mean, I don't really... I don't, that's crazy to say, but I don't really do that. But I do have my two top artists that, you know, I hope to work with one day, Nicki Minaj and Chris Brown, oh to my. answer your question. There you go. Yeah. Michael Jackson and Madonna. All right. <laughs> Chrissy Vance, thank you. Appreciate you. Grind season radio, baby. <laughs> Let's get it.